Welcome to this Hive course on your custom table view. We will be taking you on a tour on how to customise your table view and manage your project information to best suit your project team. Let's get started. So the first item I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate towards my table. And I'm going to do that by changing the layout here in the top right and selecting the table view. The table will display columns and rows. The rows represent your action cards with the columns presenting each component from the action cards. Clicking on the far left with the square and the arrow icon will allow you to open each action card where you can see all the details. Next to that is the four dots column. Now the four dots will allow me to reorder items by dragging and dropping. And I'll just move a few here as an example. And while we can use our mouse to navigate the table, we can also use our arrow keys to navigate and return and I'm going to come and mark this task in progress using my arrows and clicking return again will confirm the selection. You'll notice that certain rows are coloured to highlight overdue and complete actions. These are coloured red and green respectively. The table layout can be adjusted to suit each project's team's need. And by opening the menu at the top of a column, I can choose which columns I wish to display. Here I will deselect and select a few. So I'm going to deselect description and I'm also going to deselect due time. Now for projects where I have created an action custom field such as department, these can be displayed within the table by selecting them in the same menu. And once I've selected my columns, I can rearrange them by dragging and dropping to make sure that they're customized specifically to my team's needs. I'll do that with assignees here. And when working in our table view, it offers us multiple filter and sort options. Firstly, on the top bar, you can see that we have our filter. If I select this, I can choose myself or unassigned actions as my option. We can also sort each column. And when I click the status, you can see that I'm reorganizing these and sorting. And when we've done that, I can expand this column and you'll see this small blue arrow that indicates that there's a sort added to this column. When we're sorting in table view, you'll also notice that the four dots are disabled because the sort will, will control the order. One final filter that I have here is that in the top bar, the all button allows me to just display the incomplete actions within the project. And then I can adjust that again to show what was completed this week, last week, excluding old actions, and again, back to displaying all. When working in table view, we can also take advantage of our copy and paste keyboard shortcuts to update multiple cells. In this example, I'm going to update the assignee for these tasks to myself. So I'm going to copy this cell, Command C. I'm going to drag over these cells with my mouse and hit Command V, and that will paste these. In table view, we're also able to bulk update items by selecting the small box on this side, and I'm going to select these two, I can right click and we're, we see the display options for delete the actions, archive selected, complete selected actions, and we're also able to bulk follow and unfollow at this point. Now I'm going to complete the selected actions here and we can see that their color has changed to green once I have done so. And that is how we bulk update in our table view. We may wish to chart and create a visual of our actions in our table. I can do that by clicking create chart in the top right hand corner here. And this allows me to create a graph of the information contained in my project. And in order to get started, we need to choose which graph type we would like. And that can be the charts, bar charts or the pie chart. So I'm going to select the vertical bar chart. And now once we've chosen our chart type, we can select which attributes we wish to group our actions by. Now I'm going to 
select label. And that's the way I wish to group my actions. And you can see that it's going to build a bar chart. Now, if I wish to add a second attribute, so I group my actions by label, and then I wish to see by assignee. You'll see here that the chart adjusts to display that. I'm going to remove the second attribute and go back to just my label groupings. Now, if I would like to save this chart, you can click Save in the top right hand corner. If you do not save the chart, once you exit the chart builder, uh, it will be lost. But saving this chart also shares it with other users who have access to this project or some review. Once we've saved this and we come back to our project, I can hide the configuration, I can hide the chart. And upon returning to a project with a saved chart, I just click show chart and it will appear for me and any user. Thank you for joining this course on customizing your table view. So far, we have covered how to customize your table view to support your project team and focus on the key information you need to get to work faster. Tune into the next video in our series to complete your learning on everyday essentials with Hive. Thank you.